Hey everyone, welcome to one of my favorite Age of Mythology campaign levels, number 30, All Is Not Lost. And uh, this is, uh, I think, the fastest speed up I've ever done on a video. This is done at five times speed, just because it, it took a while. And I um, I pulled a little trick at the start here, where you're supposed to run in here and build a, uh, a town center on the settlement. But the nothing starts on the level until you actually build that town center. So what I do is I use my few villagers and, um, and Brock and Etri to... Um, uh, collect resources and uh, I use my Ulf Sarks to scout around and build up walls and um, kind of get things going. And also, there are a few houses that be uh, scattered around that become yours when you build the town center. So you can uh, gain a little extra population by building your uh, your quota of houses before the um, before you build the town center. So uh, that's part of why I sped it up so much is just because I took a few minutes to do this at the beginning. And of course, you could just build the town center right away and. Um, you know, and deal with the, uh, I think it's, a uh, I don't know, 20 minutes you have to defend or something like that until, uh, until you get reinforcements, but, um, yeah, anyway, I just wanted to show this as an example of, of, uh, of what you can do to, uh, beat the system a little bit, and that's why I sped it up so much, because it's, it's not really necessary, and the level took about 45 minutes or so. And so, uh, just with one ox cart, you have to kind of be careful where you use it. And, uh, so I try to keep them, and now I'm just mining gold, but, uh, because I think I have enough wood for, um, to get two town centers going. Or actually, no, I can't, I'm only in the classical age, so I can't, uh, I can't put up two town centers, but I needed gold for the walls, and then, uh, so that's why I'm just mining it all right there, and I, I think I'm uh, after that. I think I move over to some herds to uh, to collect food. And actually, actually, yeah, I think I bring everybody over to this herd. And there's also a gold mine nearby, so I can take advantage of that. Yeah, there's a gold mine there, and then the, the herd, so I can kind of put the um, the old uh, put the ox cart in between. I always get ox cart and ox caravan uh, mixed up. But I actually I pre-built that town center up to a certain, like most of the way, just to uh, <laughs> get it going. And you can see on the game time, it's already at 13 some odd minutes, so that's why I wanted to speed this up quite a bit. Okay, so now I have 10, so you have 10 minutes to build up the defenses, and uh, so I had all those, I had plenty of uh, resources available, so I was ready to, um, I think I was able to age up, yeah, okay, I was able to age up almost instantly, and I went with... Um, the uh, frost giant skatey for um, I think there's a farm upgrade which I really like and so then once I age up I'll have enough uh, I'm just making sure I have enough resources so that as soon as I age up I can build the second town center which I did right there and uh, you don't have to go too crazy with the uh, defenses uh, as you can see I walled up the two of the um, entrances and then on the left there is where the towers are is the uh, the main defense I'll use and uh, so like it said you have ten minutes and it's only been about two or three so I still have plenty of time to um, to get things built up and I'm getting some trade going just uh, just because plenty of gold mines there but trade is just a nice uh, bonus it's kind of on autopilot you don't have to worry about the mines running out with the the trade of course and I'm doing my classic um, task villagers immediately on wood and then uh, take them off for uh, farms after as the uh, as I build up wood and need food and I think I'm just making some throwing axemen here to hold off the uh, these initial attacks building up more distraction walls actually yeah probably I mean I had time to build up the uh, build up my defenses so it probably would have behooved me just to save up resources and, and get ready to age up as opposed to building up a military but Anyway, uh, I usually shoot for about 20 to 25 farmers, depending on what types of units I'm going to make. And I get my Ulf Sarks going up there to uh, put up some towers, and here's a little cinematic where they exchange some words with Gargarensis. And uh, you get a free ballista out of it, so that's kind of nice. And so right here, uh, and the, you're, you actually gather resources while that cinematic is going on, so right at the end there, I had... Uh, I had over a thousand food and gold, so I was able to uh, age up, or start aging up immediately after that. 
And so you have to hold out 20 minutes or so until uh, help arrives. And I do no such thing, and I go and seek them out to attack them, because it's more fun. And, uh, you know, in these videos I'm trying to show the, the whole level and, and everything you can do, rather than just the... Um, the uh, the main objective, you know, I want to show these these strategies you can pull. So I, I'm going to sweep around on the the top here and just break down a uh, you have to break down this gate and then you encounter I think it's orange um, and they have a little town with uh, uh, I think one or two hill forts and a um, some temples, barracks, and a town center, so it's nice to get the extra town center and the extra population. And I'm making some Jarls back home. Uh, and I've really taken a liking to them because they're very powerful. And they have a lot of hit points. And just building up some defenses back home so I don't really have to... I can focus my units up, up here and I don't really have to worry about the attacks back home. And there are a couple of giants hanging around in the, sort of in the middle of the map um, in the passways you would take up to that that northern town, so just be mindful of them. So here this attack is <laughs> some hydras coming in. And then they attack my town center that I built up there, so I'm kind of sp I'm spread a little bit uh, thin up here. But I think I had those Jarls on the way, so they were, they were able to get there. So I'm just kind of making guys back home and sending them up as as I need to reinforce and uh, putting a couple walls across just to help keep the enemy out and so over in the sort of on the far right side of the map is where their uh, where Gargarensis's attacks come from so I kinda post up over there with my defenses to um, to hold them off and so if you can do that then nobody will attack you back home just putting up a few hill forts to make Jarls and uh, I think I make a few a few rams as well. And uh with the battle boars and the fenris wolves the uh and the archers too the the arls really uh excel so it's a good unit to use. And here I go with a couple of rams to uh just to annoy them a little bit take down a few of their towers and such. And I'm running low on gold here, but I have 10,000 food, so... Oh, and I use the... Oh, yeah, I use the frost power there, and I, I send the rams in to uh, clean up some of these towers, which gets get kind of annoying. And I've actually... Maybe I'll play a level where I, uh, where I actually attack their entire town, because I've done that before, and, and brute force brute forced taking them out, which is a lot of fun, but... Um, takes a long time because they, I think they have a free unit spawn, so they just, their reinforcements just keep coming. And there aren't really any resources back there for them, so it must all be triggered by the, uh, by the game. And so, uh, in about five seconds here, the, uh, your reinforcements are going to come, which is Odysseus and, um, a whole bunch of Greek soldiers. And so I just send them, you just have to fight your way. You know, they expect you to be in your town in the south end, so they tell you to fight your way to the to the north of the map where Gar Gargarensis is. But I'm already there, so... Uh, yep, so you just have to run up there and take out those Cyclopses, and there's Gargarensis. So, anyway, that's all for this level. Definitely a, f uh, a fun level, and um, sort of multifaceted. Definitely a few ways that you can play it. And uh, so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.